Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So in this video, we will be discussing about the very frequently asked question from the subscribers is that if I am on bench in the company, will I get laid off? And we will be discussing in detail what happens when you are on bench, what you should do actually, right? So before that, if you're watching this video for the very first time, then please do hit like, share and subscribe our channel. Now, let's understand this bench scenario, what exactly it is and what can you do if you are on bench, right? So there are a couple of scenarios that uh, we would discuss in detail today. So first is if the employees are on bench, right? So the major reason when the employees are on bench, the first reason is if they are not skilled enough, right? then they can be on bench. If the projects are not coming in the company, then they can be on the bench, right? So these two points are very important that you need to understand. See, if you are not skilled enough now, if I'm telling you are not skilled enough, that doesn't mean that you will be telling, see, I cleared the interview, I cracked the interview and I got the job. I gave all kind of interview rounds. But now after you get into a company you are provided some sort of training right and after that they will be providing you they will be uh, uh, conducting an assessment test for you if you are unable to clear those kind of assessment tests they'll feel you're not skilled enough you have not got that kind of uh, you know training enough so that's what it means you're not skilled enough and then there are times when you are being interviewed by the different managers in the company and uh, um, it, it depends from com uh, company to company, the different managers, they will interview you. And still, if they do, if you don't get deployed to any project, then you're on bench. The second point is projects are not there in the company. Now, let's assume the scenario when uh, there are uh, there. Let's let's take a very uh, high level example. OK, so I'll uh, use the circle. So let's assume there is one project. Okay, out of that project. Now we are talking about service-based company more here. Right, it's a service-based company scenario. So in a one project, let's say 10 uh, resources or 10 members are getting built. So what the organization would do, they will keep 10 members. Those are getting built plus one or two, depending on the work those would be the shadow resources or you can say the uh, the backup or the secondary resources so at the max you will have uh, 12 people or you might have 11 people who are working in a project in which 10 people are getting built in few of the service based companies if 10 people are getting built then there are times when only eight people are being deployed to that project right so that also is happening right so now if this is the scenario then what about the other members? Let's say there were uh, there were 15 or 20 members. Those were getting hired. Those were hired during that particular uh, in that company. So those three or those seven members are put on bench, right? So this is also one of the scenario when you don't have that much amount of capacity, right? Now the projects are not there in the company. So this has been we have been uh, seeing this because there has been cost cutting going on the majority of the new projects are not coming hence the people or the freshers who were hired they are already on bench so now the question that is mostly asked by the uh, people or by the subscribers are will they get laid off so my point is and see everyone has got their own point of view everyone has got their own experience right so the maximum time that you should stay on bench you can expect five to six months, right? That is the maximum time that you should be on bench. If you are on a bench more than six months, then there are chances that you might get laid off. So what I would request to all the subscribers, all to the people who are on bench and who are viewing this video is to start searching for a job, to go for a switch if you are on bench from five to six months, right? See, there has been times when the people on bench are impacted first. 
So whichever companies you will see those layoffs have been happening, right? So there are different, different departments in which layoffs have been happening, but there are very high chances that people who are on bench might get laid off first. So this is a very common scenario because they know those people are not getting built. Those people are not getting utilized anywhere. What does utilization mean? So utilization means if you have committed eight hours to the client that your resource or your uh, team member would be working eight hours for them, then if he's getting work of eight hours, then it is 100% utilization done, right? So if you will see the people who are on bench, those are not able to contribute into the existing projects or into the build projects, then they are the ones who would get impacted. The second thing is, People who are on bench and they get more money, right? So it is actually a more cost to the company rather than getting any ROI to them. So those people will also get impacted first. So if you are on bench and if you are making more money from the company, then it's a high time that you should think for a switch. Now, what you should do if you are on bench, right? Then what you should do? So now this is something that at an individual level, you will have to do. Right. So uh, when I say you are on bench, so that means you might be on bench since one month, two months, three months. So as a employee, you should request the HR team or the hiring team. Right. You can approach the HR team. You can approach the hiring team. You can approach the different delivery managers. Right. Delivery managers are the ones who are taking the responsibility of uh, making sure that everyone has got a proper sufficient amount of work and they are getting billed or they are shadow, right? So you can approach those kind of delivery managers who are taking care of these projects, who know which project is going to come, which project is going to get extended, which project is going to end. So they know in and out of the business, so you can approach them. You can be in a good terms with the managers, with the project managers, with the PMOs, with the business analysts, because they would be taking care of shifting a person from one project to another. Now, it might happen that if you are not in good terms with the manager, then even if there is an opportunity, they might not be giving you that kind of opportunity. So those kind of scenarios are also happening. You will get from them, from the way of their approach or from the way of their response itself that this person is not willing to help you to support due to that particular level. So avoid those managers and move on to next managers, right? So this is a very common scenario. If you're on bench more than six months, then I would request that you should definitely go for a switch. If you're on bench, if you were working very hard and recently you are on bench, then you should self-introspect what went right, when, what could have been done better. You can also have this kind of one-on-one -on -one discussions with your managers and you can discuss with them, uh, sir, uh, where was I lacking? So you can see if any improvement areas are there so you can improve there, right? So this was a small video on uh, what happens to the employees who are on bench and how are the IT companies dealing these days for the employees who are on bench, right? So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates.